Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are finally doing it. We are putting to the test Laneige products. I am hoping that I am saying that right. We have some cushion foundations here, you guys. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So if you watched me doing my makeup with my sister's makeup bag, she had this foundation that I had given her. And the reason that I gave her this one is because I had tried the Laneige in the past, like years and years and years ago. And I really, really loved it when I was into cushion foundations. I have like a best of the cushion foundations video from way back when. These ones are a little bit different, but when I saw that I got them in PR, I was like, oh, you have to try this, take it and go. And when I used her makeup bag, I was like, well, dang it. Like, I don't remember it being this good. Like, this is like blowing my mind. I need it in my life ASAP. And I remember that they used to carry this at Target. So I went to Target, I didn't find it. I found other stuff, but I did not find this. So long story short, I had to order this off of Sephora and I also ordered other things off of Sephora like their sleeping mask, which I'm super excited to try. I'm gonna use this tonight. I also got their cushion concealer. I have high hopes for this. I'm so excited. You guys, I'm gonna be on vacation, I think, when this is posted. So I'm gonna be on a beach somewhere, probably wearing this dress and hopefully I'll be wearing my cushion concealer and cushion foundation and I'll just be like glowy and light and effortless, but covered, you know, like that's the dream. So I have this right here. Ooh, it is like a little puffy little guy. Okay, cool. Also, I did get two different shades of the BB cushion and I got two different types. So I got the BB cushion pore blur in sand. I also got the hydration in cinnamon. I just feel like BB cushions tend to be lighter for some reason. Like they just kind of sway lighter in tone. And if you saw my Coca-Cola video, that was kind of the same thing where I put it on and I was like, oh gosh, like online it looked a lot darker, but ultimately it was a little too fair for me. Yeah, anyway, I have two shades right here. And then, you guys, ah, I'm really excited for this. I got these, uh, ooh, ooh, yes. Oh my God, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, it like comes up in the weirdest way. Wait, can I get it back down? This is satisfying. Oh my God. The dumbest things I find satisfying. It has this weird like pull thing right here that you push it down and it kind of juts up like that. Wow. Okay, so that's really cool, um, but the, the actual wow factor of this product right here is that you see it has two tones. I have tried several different of these ombre lip products and I really like them. I feel like it gives the lip a really nice look, especially when you kind of go over with your finger and kind of blend everything together because I ultimately like using two different tones of lip products just in general. So I'm really excited to try these. And I think that we should just kind of crack into here and get going. What do you say? I should stop rambling so much. I'm like, look, I got this and I got that. And you guys are probably like, please stop talking. Just put the makeup on your face. That's all we care about. Is that all you care about? Leave it below. Let's call Larissa and see what actual shade she had. I want to see if I got the same one. She just told me medium and I was kind of like, well, great. Well, I don't know what that is. Hello, my dear. Well, hello. I can't see you. Are you FaceTime? Oh. Oh, hey, oh my God, you're with, you're all together? My my heart, where's the baby? It's back here. It's yeah, back here? Okay. <gasps> baby is. Wait, let me see the baby. <gasps> Hi, baby Logan, my favorite little boy. Oh my gosh, you guys, I die. You're on YouTube right now. Look, say hi to everyone. So I'm actually filming right now. Okay, okay. Gosh, I wish I was hanging out with all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so look what I ordered. Yes. Hi. Okay, so what shade did you get? Because I don't think I got the right shade. I have to look at mine to see. That's what you said last time. And then you never got back to me. Roasted. Roasted. Then I'm um, I don't I, know. Okay, well, text me what shade you are for reals because I'm curious. I got sand. It's kind of like a medium. Right? But I kind of feel like that's what I have. Okay, take a picture of yours. I'm curious. I love you guys. Drive safe. I can't wait to get up there and love see you. you. All right. Love you too. <sighs> Isn't FaceTime like just the best? Oh my gosh. So let's see if this works. Oh, I miss my family so much. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this guy first and just see how dark this is. I think this one might be ultimately too, too dark. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this guy first and just see 
how dark this is. This is the pore blur. And I do have my gold priming base from Guerlain on, but that's it. Wow, that's actually not bad. It's a little light. Smells so fresh. Definitely think that she had the darker shade. So this is like one darker. Let's see what this is. Even though this is the hydrating one, kind of wanted to try like both textures, you know? So let's see here. I'm just gonna go in with the top part of my beauty blender. Is that gonna be too dark? Oh, she's multicolored today. This is, it's just happening. We're just playing with makeup and having a good time and we'll figure it out. Oh, that's too dark. That is not the shade that she got. Nope, mm -mm. Mm. Nope, where's my makeup removing? Holy smokes. Wait a second, I think I know what happened. I think they were sold out. Okay, so they have color number 21 beige for fair skin with neutral tones. Porcelain, sand, is this what I got, sand? Okay, 23 sand is the one that is on my face right here. The next one darker that's available on Sephora is what I put on the other side. So that is like the jump of colors. That is crazy to me that these are like, it's this and then you step down to this, that's bananas. That is too drastic. So you have number 11 porcelain, which is much lighter than this. Then you have 21 beige, lighter than this. 23 sand, this and then freaking 33 cinnamon, this. No, I don't like that. Okay, so clearly we're not gonna be doing the Hydra Radiance. We're gonna be testing out exclusively the pore filling. I could use that, so that's fine. Let's just go in. I've never wished so much for a foundation to oxidize, but I really just, like I'm tan right now and I hate it when I put on a foundation that's not as tan as my body. I'm like, oh my God, my husband's looking in the window. Jesus, Lord. You guys have got to see this. This is hilarious. With my new setup, it is ultra creepy because I can full on see when he is standing there. Oh my God. Come in. Hey, baby. What do you want? Come back here. I just came to say hello. Exactly. You're what do you, pretty. What do you think of my foundation? I like your dress. It's a little light, right? I like your dress. Thank you. Okay. End scene. And what do I think of the foundation? Ah! Oh my God, I almost just drop a mirror and have seven years of horrible life. It's not so bad. It it's not my be, right color. It needs to be filled in. It's not my right color. You'll look nice. Ox so white. Oh my God. Pale as hail. I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna try and like, you know how I use my Chanel bronzer? Maybe we'll like have luck kind of doing that game. Let's just see. Hmm. And that may have been the dumbest thing I've done all day. All right, well, these products sit on the skin beautifully. They look gorgeous on the skin, and that is what I love about it. And I'm so intrigued to try some of their skincare. I've heard only great things, and like I'm hands in, I'm all about it. Let's go into this concealer and see what kind of magic we can conjure up with this little cushion concealer. 525,600 minutes. We're still here. <laughs> okay, yay, it's coming out. Ooh, that's a great shade. That's freaking beautiful. Yes, please, I love that. I really shockingly love that. Oh my God, I wish you guys could just see like so in person how juicy this makes your skin. It just makes your skin look so nice. I'm like hooked, I love it. All right, I am going to set the face. I am going to take my Winky Lux powder, the diamond powder in light, and I'm just going to put this underneath the eye to set it. I definitely need bronzer, that is for sure. So I'm gonna take the JLo bronzer and we're gonna pray that a little JLo bronzing action can like bring this back to warmth.
that helped a little bit. Um, it's still, I keep glancing in the monitor and it's still just too light for me. So, you know, I'm going to take my Dior backstage. I freaking love this so much. Just like drench me in it. Just do a little bit of this. Oh yes. It's so nice. Take the champagne shade and just a tiny bit of the pink. Oh, we need a little blush too, right? Why not? Let's do a little blush. So I'm going to take a little bit of Makeup Revolution in Beloved. I'm back like fully hooked on this one. It's five bucks and it's so pretty. We need to contour just a tiny little teensy tiny bit. So the only thing about my new setup that I don't like is it's hard to contour my face with these lights. Let's give a good spritz. Now we will try the lip products. Okay, we're gonna start with this one right here. This is the shade Pink Salmon. Let's give it a go. All right, I kind of think it's cute with what I am wearing. I do want to put like a little gloss on top of it. Just maybe tone her down just a tiny little bit. It's a little bright for my kind of taste, but really, really creamy application, easy to apply as far as it being two-toned, so I like that. And that was just a little gloss from Anastasia. This is in the shade Undressed. So here we have it, boom, boom, boom. This is like fast, quick makeup. Even my eye look today was just like smudging two shadows on the lid, a little tiny bit of liner and then popping on lashes. And then the face was pretty quick and easy. I have hope for this. I love the way it wore when I did my makeup using my sister's makeup bag. And I really feel this is the same kind of a finish. Like when I'm looking in the mirror, it just melts into the skin. It makes your skin look even, hydrated, healthy, juicy. Your pores are minimized, nothing is clinging, it's giving you an even amount of coverage. So I love this. I want to find my correct shade. So I'm gonna get that picture from her and confirm what I used when I used her makeup. And then I'm gonna go on a little bit of a hunt online and see if I can figure it out even better. But if you guys are, you know, wanting to try cushion makeup like this stuff, it's really great. So what I wanna do now is just see how everything wears for the rest of the day, especially the concealer. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey you guys, so I thought it would be a smart thing to do to do a check-in before I go to bed. I don't know where the day went, but it's gone. It's really late right now. We had dinner, we watched Modern Family, which is like our thing that we're into at the moment. Uh, foundation is so surprisingly good, good, good. Like I am not even wearing the right shade and I still like it, that's how good this is. I think I want the hydrating one though. Even though the pore minimizing like wasn't overly drying or anything like that, I feel like I really want the hydrating one just because I like that kind of a look with a cushion foundation. But I'm happy I tried the other one as well. Uh, the concealer, no. Do we see? No. It uh, absolutely creased really quickly. The lippies, the formula was great. The applicator's really, really cool. And that's where we're at right now. I'll see you guys before I wash all of this off. I've done it. Every single time that I say, oh my gosh, you guys, I almost took off my makeup and I'm so glad I did this final check-in. This time I actually took off my makeup because we ate dinner really late and then we were watching TV and I was just kind of on autopilot. Anyway, you guys want to know the full scoop on the Laneige BB cushion. So I got in touch with my sister. It is not the same one, or at least they don't have the same shade. So I'm going to try and track down the medium shade because that one is like the perfect shade shade for me. The shades that I tried out were too light and too dark, and I think I prefer the hydrate. The pore blurring was good, but for my skin, I know what I crave, and I think I will do better with a pore filling primer and then going in with the hydrating cushion. But you guys, Laneige is like a top-notch line. Like, I have a sleeping mask that I'm gonna try out. The balms were so good. The concealer, no, 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 no. Uh, but we can't love everything, you know? And I feel like I'm someone that needs a thicker, really crease-proof concealer, so I'm not too upset that I didn't like that one. Anyway, yeah, this line is great. 
What else have you tried from it? Leave that below in the comments. I got out of, oh my God, it looked like I've been naked this whole time. I haven't been naked. Oh, my hair is a wreck too. Okay, she needs to go to bed. Yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, my towel almost dropped off. I have a family-friendly channel. I need to go. All right, I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.